Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 142. That is, what is buddy testing? Let me answer. Buddy testing is a random testing which falls into one of the ad hoc testing types. Under ad hoc testing, there are different types like buddy testing, pair testing, and monkey testing. So buddy testing is one of the ad hoc testing types where random testing is performed. Now, what exactly is buddy testing and how it is performed? In buddy testing, the testing will be performed by two buddies. As buddy is there right in the word, so the testing here in the buddy testing will be performed by two buddies on same module. At the same time on same module, two buddies will be performing the testing. Why two buddies on same module at same time are performing the testing to speed up the work due to lack of time. There may be some situations in the project where we don't have much time, okay? And we have to complete the work faster. Then this kind of buddy testing approach will be followed where random testing will be performed by two buddies on same module at the same time to speed up the work. Here, one of the buddy will be from the development team and other buddy will be from the testing team, okay? Out of these two buddies who are testing the same module at the same time to speed up the work, right? Due to lack of time. There, one of the buddy will be a development team from the development team, other buddy will from the testing team. So what is the advantage of this kind of buddy testing approach? The advantages are faster development and testing, okay? So whenever there is a lack of time in our project to complete the work, to speed up the work, to make the work faster, to do the work faster or to, do, to make the work uh, a rapid pace, okay, to complete the work in a rapid pace. In their case, for the faster development and testing, the two buddies, one buddy from the development team, other buddy from the testing team will be performing this buddy testing so that faster development and testing will happen. How the faster development and testing will happen here? Due to several reasons, guys. Okay, you see, while while that while these two buddies uh, are working on the same module of the application, so what happens is while tester is uh, creating better test cases with the help of the developer, because uh, developer will be quickly sharing the knowledge to the tester, and tester can start early. Okay, early creation of the test cases and better creation of the test cases, and because of this, the work will become faster for the tester. Right, tester don't have to wait so much of time. Developer will help the tester in building the test cases or creating the test cases by sharing his knowledge on the application, okay? And any doubts or any ambiguities regarding the test cases, right? Development development team, the, the buddy from the development team will help the tester, okay? And help in developing the better test cases. With the help of the developer, that is one of the buddy, the tester will create or develop better test cases in a faster way. Same time, because of the testing mindset, you see, uh, the tester will do some testing and uh, developer will come to know Okay, the other buddy, the developer will come to know what are the changes to be done. So here the changes will be done with the help of the tester develop, developer will change the code changes or design changes very quickly. Okay, so that's what is the advantage here. Both developer and buddy who are acting like two buddies will work together on the same module, help each other in testing and developing the application faster, that particular application module faster. Okay, here there is no need of uh, raising the defects, right? Tester will immediately inform the development team that uh, developer that developer buddy that there is a bug. Okay, without raising the developer will fix the def uh, will fix the bug there itself. Okay, if there is no raising of the defect, there is no no need of uh, fixing the defect, right? Or bug, right? So the time taken for reporting the defect and fixing the defect and informing the testing team to retest and all everything will be reduced, guys. Here because they are testing together, they are working together. Okay, they're working together to make the development testing to become faster, okay? Faster development and testing. This is the advantage, guys, okay? And uh, most mostly it is used when you have lack of time, okay? When there is less time and you have to complete the development and testing faster, then we generally go for that buddy testing where one of the buddy will be a developer, other buddy will be a tester, and they will be helping each other so that the developer buddy with the help of tester will do the changes, code changes or design changes quickly while uh, tester buddy with the help of the developer buddy uh, uh, by taking his knowledge or not uh, or uh, whatever the internal knowledge of the application because he has some coding knowledge right so with that knowledge and all coding of the application knowledge and all with that knowledge tester will create the test cases faster okay so and uh, as they are intact working together there is no need of reporting the defects or uh, mentioning that uh, i have fixed the defects and all those stuff okay so 
so things will happen so faster and when it is performed when this body testing will be performed body testing will be performed after unit testing is completed guys okay once the development team that is a developer body completes the unit testing then only the body testing will start where a developer and one one body that is developer other body that is tester will be working together on the same module at the same time to speed up the work when there is lack of time in the project so un, in kind of uncertain conditions or situations in the project where the time is very limited and uh, you have to do the work faster this kind of approaches are followed okay the, the company management team what they will do is they will decide uh, two bodies one will be developer body other will be the tester body and uh, ask them to do the work faster okay so we cannot follow a formal process or structured process here do random testing and do the work faster okay discuss together and try to complete the work faster such kind of situations body testing is performed that's why body testing is a random testing which falls into the ad hoc testing type category okay so apart from body we also under ad hoc testing types we have pair and monkey okay as i already explained so hope guys you got the answer for this question that is what is what is body testing in this session that's all for this session in the next session I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.